And welcome and back to episode 500 of Everybody's Got a Price. Right, we're counting backwards now? Yeah. Just a good idea Georgie had. I am your fearless host, Jeff Dye, and with me is my faithful sidekick and lover, Josh Nelson. Thanks for being here, buddy. Just glad I just keep graduating to sidekick and lover now. Dude, my lover. I thought we weren't telling anybody that. Sexual lover. It's funny because a lot it's of people... purely physical. A lot of people keep asking him if we were together. And I'm like, yeah. he wouldn't be my type at I all. I wish, dude. We wouldn't be my type. I'm always... I, I think you'd make a great boyfriend. <laughs> you know, I, I prefer the company of men. But I just wouldn't want to touch you or have <laughs> sex with you. you know? well, I'd like to outsource that to like a young lady in the night. Okay. But during the day, we kick it. We do all the boyfriend stuff. And then at night, don't, you're gross. Yeah, man. but why? And then I hang out with a girl. Why is it boyfriend stuff? Why is it just like hanging out with the boys? We are, well, that's what a girlfriend is. You do like boy stuff. And then <laughs> occasionally you guys do some. I don't think you know what you're talking <laughs> do you about. Know what I mean? That's all right. No. I treat these girls like the bros. Yeah. And then I have sex with them later. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. All right, that's intro. Interesting intro. Yeah. Uh, how was your week? You feeling good? My week is good, man. I'm very excited uh, to have our guest today. Yeah, Razzle, I've known you for a long time. Hey, thank you. That's the intro I get. No, thank no, you. not yet. No, we're not done yet. <laughs> Jesus, no, we're a real <laughs> sensitive. Guy. Jump in the gun, bro. <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> your next comedians from the Tonight Show and more. <laughs> You're like, well, I was gonna say. He's gonna he, say more. I know you didn't even stop. Like yeah. he didn't give you a second to. Fucking... I've known him a long time. He's a good man. No one knows his birth name. The guy's had many looks. He's a handsome devil. That's another thing too. You hid behind this crazy mustache for a long time, mm. and then you shaved the mustache, and everyone's like, he kind of looks like a, like a Ryan Gosling kind of guy, but but he looked like a chi a hundred year old Chinese man forever with this long crazy mustache. <laughs> uh, but you're one of my favorite people. I've always found you very fascinating and interesting. You're you're also a talented stand-up comedian uh, and uh, and just a good dude. Oh, well, thank you very Razzle much. dangerously. Thank you very much, Jeff. That means a lot, honestly. Um, and you know, you're one of the you're one of the first comics I met when I moved to Los Angeles. Mm. You're one of the first comedians that I met and befriended. And um, I, you used to have a big crazy van. You still you got have, that? No, no. Uh, I got T-boned. I had a, had a big red uh, Pontiac Montana Transport. Cool van, which though. Fucking rips. Yeah. Minivans rip. People people shit on minivans, but they're awesome. We got some friends in, and dude, friends of the podcast who are big van people. Dude, they're awesome. They're like rocket ships for the road. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you can take the seats out and you can haul uh, everything. Dude, you can haul everything. Yeah. It was it's they're I mean they're awesome. You know Jeff Zenisek? I do know Jeff Big Zenisek. van guy. He's only had vans. Dude, they're I mean they're awesome. Yeah. They're they rep, dude. I love it. Um and then um yeah, you were one of the first comics and um you know, I believe you helped me even get some shows. Yeah. And uh started inviting me out and Yeah. It was cool. Also yeah. uh you used to have a very interesting podcast. Yep. Yeah. That was called Today we learned. Today we learned. Yep. It was on back when podcasts first started pre-video. Um, it was on the Nerdist Network, um, and uh, you were on tell them the premise minutes. of it. Yeah, it was cool. It was, it was uh, you know, we'd have guests on, and we would talk about random fun facts and trivia. And um, yeah, you know, they would be like, "What did you? What did you? What did you last learn?" Yeah, and I was like, "Huh." Yeah, I don't know what I... And then I'd have to like kind of think about the last book I read or the last documentary I saw, and then I was like, all right. And then that always just spirals into some sort of good conversation. Yeah, we would, yeah. It would, we would you know, blue link it from that. You know, yeah. we'd look up interesting stuff about that, and then we just keep, you know, Wikipedia blue links or whatever. And It was go a good tangent. exercise of how much you retain also. Oh, yeah. Because you'd be like, all right, I think it was this much, and I think it was this time. And like you'd go, man, I really didn't retain as much of this as I hoped. Well, and then when you're talking about things that you remember or have learned too it's always it's it unlocks other facts and trivia too because then it'll lead you on tangents so then you'll be you know 35 minutes into a conversation you're like oh by the way this yeah and then it'll make you remember something else so speaking of that right did you guys know this that's what you i've know? always admired about these autistics you yeah. know they've they're always they're like they've they've retained it all you yeah, know? it's Josh is one of my favorite humans, a good social guy. He's got so many qualities. I but then he'll reference a story and he he goes, "Well, I didn't really read it. We just last episode, the guy just launched into a thing." And then he, and then I go, "Well, did you read it or not?" And then he's like, "Well, I don't know. I just kind of watched a thing for a second." Yeah, it didn't retain any of it. His your stories are That's like true. four sentences. Didn't you just do that? I, I, I talked about a story you of a video that I watched at 3 a.m. I know, I know, but you didn't remember any of it. Did, whatever. 
but you brought it up. <laughs> yeah, I brought it up. Because I kind of I didn't realize you were going to fact check me on well, the whole I do fucking it too. story. I, was, I, I, I do it too. I'm guilty of it. But I was just saying, like, autistics don't do that at yeah. all. Autistic dudes, will they'll tell you the facts. Dude, it's like that Mary Lou Henner, right? Is that the girl? The girl from Taxi who's got a photographic memory? Oh, I don't know. Or like, she'll remember, day, she'll remember what you were wearing, what you talked about, what you ate. Sure. The day of the year, what day it falls on. Two very it's popular like, autistic guys that yeah. remember everything that's always impressed me. Ben Shapiro and Charlie Kirk. Dude. I'll go, I could never debate like these guys they're literally rambling off like psycho statistics so that I, who would remember that? yeah constant fact checks yeah that's why i only debate things i know i'm right yeah i only Here's argue my favorite things debate I'm argument hey come on <laughs> <laughs> Fair that's enough. my favorite debate strategy hey come on man or you just do this you go oh let's play devil's advocate just so you yeah you'll say yeah, something yeah, like say that some, you know. so you don't have to feel like you're you liable for like, the thought yeah, like what if we did this <laughs> devil's advocate um what was the other thing i was we, we i wanted to say if i haven't talked to razzle for a few months right just because life you know mm -hmm. gets caught up you got a lot of people in your life He'll inevitably get a text message from me. Oh, yeah. I know where this is going. Asking him to send me a picture, or at me asking him to send me a picture of all of his driver's license ID pictures. Because every time he has to get a new driver's license, or if he just goes and gets a new one, he has a hilarious a different, different look. picture oh, one was great. wolverine one was a pirate of oh, some fun. sort with okay. an eye patch and he literally has the best collection of id driver's license photos that i've ever seen they're fearless and i'm shocked you get away with it the new one i'm a soundcloud rapper i even put fake tattoos on my face I got little sneezy under my eye. I got the, I got Frankenberry on my neck. I think I have Xavier Roberts from yeah. Cabbage Patch Kids, and it. Um, I have a mohawk. I. Uh, I talk about it so one often. One of them was a snooty French. That I try to look it up, and then I go, "Shit, I'll just text Razzle, and he'll send it to me." And he's got it ready to go. Let me yeah, see if I can find him. It's one of those things where I turned 21 and I needed to get a new license in Michigan, and then I was in a punk band, so I had like spiky hair, you know, like a, you know, I looked like an anime character, and um, I went in and I did like just a kind of like a weird smile. Uh, then from then on, I'm like, you know what? I could, why not just go? Every time my look changes, for a minute, my looks always changed. Yeah, that's my first well, one. That's the first. We'll put it on the screen, Georgie. You can maybe. Maybe. This is the next one, Wolverine. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> then this thing with a bow tie. That was a retake, believe it or Wait, not. That's not TJ Miller? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, that's a, actually TJ Miller gets credit for doing one thing. Look at what Razzle's done. No, I'm saying he looked like TJ Miller in that one. Those are all your. That's a driver's license. That's photo. impressive, yeah. because I think I one time I did a driver's license with like a big old smile, and they're like, "We're not supposed to let you get right. away Can't with this." Can't even show your teeth like on they, your passport. They literally photo. are on you for everything. Yeah. Also, why not show my teeth? <laughs> yeah. What if I'm missing a front tooth? That'd be a pretty good identifier if you're trying to look for me for a crime or something. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. But it's then kind you of could strange. get that tooth fixed, and they would never know who you were. Yeah, yeah. but also this guy's got tattoos in his driver's license photo right now. Yeah. Yeah. Also, lesson learned. See how that image didn't have any of Razzle's information? Yeah. When we had Ari on. <laughs> he showed when his... I had Ari on, I just showed his whole ID. Oh, and then hilarious. these guys are like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm an idiot. I didn't even think about that. But then our editor, Christian, just didn't fix it or anything. Just oh, left wow. it in. Old George, not so bad now, huh? Yeah. Well, we've been missing you, buddy. Hilarious. I like that fucker, Christian, but that was a strange move. Also, I start defending Chris D'Elia and all his antics, and the Christian's like, it's probably best if we just leave that out. But then didn't edit it out. <laughs> just leaves it in. I go, didn't we have a conversation about yeah. this? And he's like, I don't know. We don't edit yeah. anything. So here. I guess that's just in the universe. Yeah, we don't edit tape, nothing. Yeah, Live to tape. Wild. What's going on with this uh, outfit today? This Popeye outfit? You know, or, here's the deal, dude. I'm gonna be honest. I was. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Okay. You know, I this summer was cowboy summer for me. Nice. I I was. I've been. I got back into country music, and I watched Yellowstone and Cowboys are just cool. Cowboys, cowboys are cool. You're I'm a big going fan. Of, big cowboy phase. Yeah. Big cowboy phase. Um, and they just. I grew up with a lot of cowboy movies in the '80s. You know, I had a CB radio in my first car, and my friends in Michigan, we all had CB radios before cell phones, and That's cool. they're so cool. And in the '80s and '70s, before my time, I was born in the '80s. There's a lot of like trucker and just like cowboy of the road. Like, sure. it's just a wild, you know, just a manly type of thing. And I've been doing Cowboy Summer, and um, I'm like, you know what? I, I saw a uh, 
G.I. Joe, I saw a picture of Shipwrecked, and he had, you know, from G.I. Joe, he had a he had a sailor hat on, and I'm like, kind of looks fucking cool. Kinda Can you bring up Shipwreck from Shipwreck that? from yeah. G.I. Joe. I'm like, he kind of, look, he looks badass, dude. Yeah. And then I'm like, sailors are the cowboy of the sea, yeah. you know? And I'm like, I'm going <laughs> to fucking start okay. wearing sailor hats. And David Lee, I'm a big fan of David Lee Roth, but also I saw a picture of him wearing overalls, and I'm like, my grandfather used to wear overalls a lot. Hell yeah, dude. dude. That doesn't that guy look like a man? That's dude. awesome. Dude. I actually love that. Dude, Where's and your gun. And overalls it's a huge are huge gun, dude. Where's your huge gun? That's a handgun and, and it's a, almost it like my, a half my of a long pants, gun. Pants, dude. Yeah, okay. I got uh, that in my pants. But I will push back a little. As yeah. much as I like this look and as much as I endorse <laughs> this being your hat, the Cowboys of the Sea are pirates, bro. No. Those are the bandits of the sea, dude. <laughs> 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 okay. yeah, I don't know. Cowboys versus bandits. Because I just think, go? like, uh, you know, <laughs> pirates were fuck. Those were the men of the sea. They'll take your shit. Yeah, and those were the outlaws. Up. Of the sea. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah outlaws you're, outlaws right, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm a cowboy. Of the sea. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, good, good argument. Um, that's a great. Uh, but, that's a great look. But all this all goes to is overalls are comfortable. My grandfather used to wear them, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck around. And I'm gonna try them. I've, I got some jumpsuits as well. Just things my grandfather used to wear all the time. And then I'm like, these are actually comfortable. So I started wearing them. And then part of this and the, the reason for doing like the Cowboy, the, the Cowboy Summers is because it's like, you know, there's something about having a look. Yeah. Like Steve Jobs had a look and people have looks. And I used to change my facial looks yeah. all the time. Well, not all the time, but well, you, had a, over, you always had a look. Right. And there's something about action, growing up with action figures and like cartoons and there's just like a look yeah, and an okay. outfit. So same been, with wrestling. Wrestling's big on dude, this. Dude, yeah. I got a macho man doing an elbow drop on my elbow here. Love it. And there's we grew up of this era of just like outfits. Yeah. So part of the thing I've been kind of consciously doing, um, as far as like comedy goes, or if I'm going to do something specific, right? Dress up. Yeah. Look like look. an action figure. Have a look. Have you know. Just look, you know, put some effort into. I'm doing a podcast. I'm going to dress up today. I like it. Do you know what I mean cool. I'm doing it? I'm doing stand up. I'm going to dress up. I'm yeah. going to put on an outfit for, you know, for whatever. So that's yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's easy to just be showing up, you know? Yeah, you know? So I'll put in, I'll, I'll have a distinct, you know, if I'm going somewhere or doing something, I'll put on an action. I'll look like an action figure. That's I love cool. it. Because why picked not? a good one. He's cool. But then also, you also go like rave, uh, rave wrist also into this outfit. You this is <clears throat> Cowboy of the Sea, but then also yeah, I go dude, to raves. You know, these are friendship bracelets. <laughs> and this one, you know, yeah. these are, I made these because they look cool. And, um, oh, you one, made them. I made these myself. yourself. Yeah, dude. Well, one, look, one says love yourself. And that's a reminder to myself. Okay, because that's I, cool. Because I have a problem with that. I have a, you know, I have a problem, you know, loving myself. So I'm like, you know, I'm not fucking, and you, yeah, know, you read it. You know, it's perfect. I can read it. And then this other one's just uh, my phone number with a bat pendant on it because I saw the whole phone number on a friendship bracelet worked for Travis Kelsey. So I'm going to try and get a date with Taylor Momsen at some point. So. Oh, wait. So what is the story of the phone number on a bracelet? I don't know the context. Travis Kelsey. I'm a Swifty too, by the way. Okay. Travis Kelsey. You guys know who he is. I love Taylor Swift. I hate her political views. Fuck Kamala Harris. Go ahead. Dude, can I tell you something? I'm not Say, mad at Taylor Swift. No, Taylor I, rips. She's dude. a girl who makes music. I agree. Telling, no harm in that. Telling people in Los Angeles you don't like Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Let me say that again. Kamala. How do you say her name? I can't. Who knows? Know. Who knows? Not going to vote for her. Here's the deal. <laughs> people Telling people you don't like Kamala in LA is like when a babe posts a picture of her boyfriend. Right. They don't like it. They don't yet. like it. Do you yeah, know yeah, yeah. yeah. But Big Swifty, Travis Kelsey is a football player, and Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, which is arguably the biggest tour of all time, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. The energy it brings to cities is just amazing. Positive energy. I got need. It's awesome across the board. A big thing they would do is trade bracelets with her songs on them or whatever. And Travis Kelsey went on a podcast, and he talked about going to the show, and he was hoping to give her a friendship bracelet with his phone number on it. Smart. And uh, that got to I've her. I've never heard that story. Dude, and that got to her, and now they're dating, and she's happy, and she's a Taylor, and Taylor Momsen's a punk rocker girl, yeah. and she's hot, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start. Yeah, let's get I'm it out start. to her. So I'm, I'm wearing this. you know. And, Let me see it. it. Yeah. Hey, Taylor. And, she, and it's got a bat on there because she got bit Taylor by a bat. I don't know Taylor Momsen, but Taylor Momsen, we're going to try and get this clip to you. Hell yeah. 989 <laughs> 450 no, no, 2447. No, no, dude. Text my boy. 
Taylor Monson. <laughs> we love you, dude. Last episode, it was their ID. This episode, it's their phone. Hey, guys. Right, no, you got to change my phone number. Get to her. Get to her. Yeah. No, we got to change my phone number. this clip yeah. right here. And dude. she's a famous rock and roll artist. Yeah, but but she's uh, known for what? Well, she, you know, she was in, she was in, uh, she was in The Grinch. I didn't know this. He told yeah. me before the episode. But she was in The Grinch. She was she uh, Grinch. the little she was cute little girl Cindy, in it. Cindy Lou Who on The Grinch. Yeah. Um, What's the song she sang on that? What's the well, Grinch song? I don't know. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch? No, Probably. no, he didn't. He sang that. I oh, did she know, sing dude. that? I don't know. There's one that's like, uh, I was singing every Christmas. That yeah. She's, she's da, na, 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 na. Well, Something like that. Man, something. Yes. I've been reading the comments from the last episode. Something you just like reminded me. I've been reading the comments something from the last like episode, and they want me to do it again. Oh, been in any man. Just kidding. Dude, <laughs> I'm just oh, are, we, are we doing? Are we singing songs here? <laughs> what about this song by Tool? Yeah, I like it. No lyrics. Um, so yeah, but anyways, uh, I was gonna. I had I known you guys were wearing baseball hats with letters, I would have worn one. No, of those. you look great, dude. We're just, no, of course, you, we gotta ask you, you know go. about the outfit. No, I do got a question though. Since you're yes, Swifty, sir. she just endorsed. I mean, that's gonna change your vote, obviously, right? To whatever she says. You know, I. It's definitely. I you definitely have listen to. I. You know, I, I. I listen to her and George Clooney. Those are yeah, the two people I listen go. to. For what if I have twenty for? heroes and all of them are voting for different people? You know, who do I, I pick? Yeah. It's a. It's a conflicting thing because yeah. you know I. Um, I don't have a private jet that I fly on, yeah. so I don't. But I'll probably vote for. Her, not I will say. Her. Let's say you love a celebrity. And he wants you to vote for Donald Trump. You don't have to. No. Right. Vote, vote for, for whatever. You feel, yeah. Vote for whatever, like whoever you want. Whatever right. works for you. Form your own opinions. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to vote for anybody because somebody on TV told you to. Yeah. Right. Um, and that can go either way. I'll probably do uh, a write-in vote. I'll probably write somebody in just because. That'll be fun. You know. Yeah. RFK is not in it no more, mm -hmm. so I'm a little perturbed. Yeah, I liked him. But I liked him a lot. I liked him a lot. Um, all right, so do you know how the podcast works? I do. I've seen the clips. Okay, for anyone that's just now listening, or maybe we just people are just watching or listening because Razzle's here, the uh, we ask you things to do. You tell us how much you do it. We believe everybody has a price. There's right. a certain amount you would do it. Um, and then we will try to get you that money to see you do it if there's any interest. So if you as a listener or viewer want to scan this code that's right here, you can give money, say you what you want it to go to. Watch some of our older episodes also. Um, we've got people willing to do wild things for, for money. So um, let's jump into it. All right. First question always is, uh, how much for you to make out with Jeff? Oh, that's not always the first question. Oh. <laughs> but it better be low. You know, Jeff's made a lot of money. <laughs> I'm glad I texted you to ask me that before <laughs> yeah, I got here. Because I've been waiting 15 years. Oh, perfect. Yeah, to there say, you go, dude. What we're we going to make 20 bucks? 20 bucks? 20 bucks. All right, let's go. I got 20 right here. That's not real. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I don't want to fall in love with them. <laughs> Tongue or not, I'm a good kisser, dude. Yeah, I'm not coming out of the closet for another 10 years. Yeah. So. All right, I thought of this one that. on the way up here. Okay. Uh, it, it's probably going to be cheap now, but they'll ask you also. How much to uh, just dress completely goth for a month? Like, <laughs> my chemical romance just embrace the character. I have a feeling yours isn't going to be that. His won't be that much. That's what I'm saying. I feel like his isn't going to be that much. It's probably It'll cost me 10 feet because that's mostly my closet. <laughs> <laughs> So for a so month, for a month to just completely to go goth, what do you? How much are you doing it? We're for? talking makeup. I mean, here, let's uh, yeah, do this. just like yeah, just let's all say, goth. let's say, <laughs> of my phone bill, your phone bill. So for 125 bucks a month, you're going it's seventy dollars. I'm on a family plan. You're going <laughs> for a month. You go completely <laughs> goth, goth for one month. Yeah, I mean that's I mostly wear all black. Like I mean, what? We'll like, pay it but right it's now. makeup. He said makeup too. You just well, have to be specific makeup, about eyeliner, this. Well, whatever's goth. Yeah, I'll eyeliner. eyeliner. But whatever you do to go goth, you don't I have to do the same every time. Occasion. Okay, so for seventy bucks, you're going goth for a whole month. For a month, why not? Fucking done. Let's do it. We'll dude. Venmo you right now. Uh, mine's about seventy grand. Yeah, I figured yours would be a little higher. <laughs> well, just because like. I, again, we always, when we ask these questions, we try to be very finite. Right. Is that a month is a long time. A month is a long time. So it's kind of like, this isn't like just me doing it on a Saturday and just trying to get through the night. Right. We're talking a month. Like when Bro. I'm at the coffee shop and I'm having to explain, like, what are you doing? I'm going, oh, it's this thing. So, the... but is makeup involved or not? Because if it's just wearing black t-shirts with yeah, black, no, you gotta, like, like do eyeliner for sure. You got to definitely do a little bit of goth on the face yeah for sure and all the bracelets yeah i but mean there's goths that don't wear bracelets 
Well, that's why I said we should be a little more specific. Yeah, right. I mean, you got to kind of go all in. Got it. Put a Google just goth guy. See, let's see what comes up. Got it. Because that's see the trick. The is like what is, would be. Yeah, you don't just get to wear a Hot Topic shirt right. for a month. Okay. Yeah, not a Misfits shirt. I look here. He's fucking weaseling out of the seventy dollars he agreed to. No, I mean I just you know. Let's just see what he. Oh yeah. I'll go to that. Go to that one up. Um, sixth one, seventh one to the top That's in the middle. Exactly up, what I saw. That too. one. Yeah, it's the Edward first Scissor one hands. I saw. Yeah. Zero. Okay, I would need more for that. Look at the boots, dude. That's. I mean, now we'd have to buy a wardrobe. I know. That's a, that would probably be for a month. Three grand for that because okay. those boots don't look comfortable. <laughs> I know it's just such a thing to be goth. Okay, so what are you doing for seventy dollars? What goth guy are you for seventy? Uh, yeah, I let's mean, see. You know, let's see like, some of these. I mean, I could show you pictures on my Instagram. Like that's. Imagine if you got me for the shaved head and I had to do the goth thing. They'd be like, Jeff's going through something serious. I mean, dude. like I'll tell you, go down um, six one uh, on the bottom to the, that one. To the right, that one. I mean, that looks that looks cool, dude. He does look good, and you'd pull that off. Yeah. But here's the thing, uh, that is hardly goth to me. No, that's, that's more just anime. a great yeah, that's shirt. Cool. <laughs> like, like you know, you're not yeah. gonna have that hair. No, I don't have. I, I that looks like what a guy hair. in like My Chemical Romance would wear if he's not really goth, but he has to like do play, yeah, play he the wants part to fit in with the yeah. group. Yeah. No, um, here's let me ask you guys this: How come? And that looks cool, and you guys agree that looks cool. I like cool. it, yeah. But but and and we're all comics here. Yeah. Can we agree comics don't dress cool generally? They don't. No. Well, what happened is, and I've thought about this so much because uh, earlier when you were saying like you want to look, you want to have a look, you yeah. want to take things serious. Uh, I often reference Jordan B. Peterson because he changed my life in a lot of ways. But like one of the things he talks about is like. By dressing nice, you're telling everyone like I took this serious. Right. I care. Yeah. You know, so it's like, you might go, what's with the suit, nerd? But, like, at least the guy with the suit took the time to get cleaned up for whatever. So it shows that you care. Uh, very similarly, comics famously dressed down because they wanted to be, like, the everyday man. Yeah. You want the audience to go, oh, he's just like me. He's wearing a hoodie. Fair enough. You don't want to be too dolled up because they're, right. they're going to go, what is this? So, like, that whole, like... Janine Garofalo, all that air, like they stopped wearing the suit coat with the pushed up yeah. sleeves. And now it's just like, I'm one of you. But now everyone just does it. Everyone dresses so lazy. It's so lazy. Yeah. It doesn't like you, like one of my, you know, I used to be in a punk band and part of, you know, like wrestling and comedy and punk is like, you're a performer. Yeah. And I look at like Eddie Murphy or Steve Martin. You know, or Andrew Dice, and they put on an outfit. Yeah. You know what I mean, like Chappelle will dress cool. I you think know, Dave the, Chappelle will wear a uh, will dress. Remember that one piece that he had? Dude, that was the so green, sick. Yeah. The army green, the onesie. It's cool as fuck. Did they always yeah. dress cool though, or just for big events? I think they always used to, and then I think dressing down became the look. Right. Okay. That's what I think. That was their intentional look. Yeah. But then over time, it's just kind of all gotten lost, and now there's you know now it's just you're you know you're supposed to be comfy, and it's like it's I think it's synonymous with like well I don't even give a fuck. Yeah. But it's like I think it maybe now because so many people don't give a fuck that it's interesting to give a fuck yeah <laughs> and it's kind of with the cowboy thing earlier like yeah i probably wouldn't be so into the cowboy phases if i if i lived in houston where right. everyone's a cowboy right, right, right but right. i'm in la so it's more attractive to me to be the outlier yeah yeah but I, I think it's all linked but okay. i think that they, i think that they're doing it more of like i don't even care about clothes yeah, yeah. like i think yeah. that's what it's become it's not the art yeah i'm just here to tell but this jokes, took like but... you're doing this by design and yeah. that's i think it's good i think that shirt is a cool ass shirt yeah you I'd wear pull, that. Yeah, you could pull it off. I uh, thought about getting into vests. What do we think about that? Yeah, I like a vest. It. Just yeah. a vest. I like a good vest. Well, not just the vest, but like a <laughs> shirt <laughs> underneath the vest. <laughs> Damn. Like, so a, like, like a Ferris Bueller. Vest, dude. Well, like Han Solo. Wear a vest and a shirt on top so we don't have to see the Ooh. vest. Ooh. <laughs> Secret <laughs> vest. But Secret vest community. It's really terrible idea. But vests are cool. Vests are very cowboy, yeah. too. You'd have it, you'd wear it, and you'd have your little. Oh, yeah. Can watch. you give me a vest to look up so yes, I can kind of. Yes, go LA Knight vest. Now, yeah. the difference is this guy's jacked and he has huge guns. But imagine if I wore oh, this you've, vest. You've looked this up. Yeah. Imagine if I wore this vest with a shirt dude, under it. Hell yeah, dude. But you he's wouldn't. got all these great vests. But if I wore like a t shirt under it, so yeah, it's not rock, all dude. guns. Are you showing your arms? Uh, are you, well, are no, you, it'd be a t shirt. It'd be like shirt sleeves. Are you shirt. putting metal studs on yeah, it? Yeah, you can mix up the vests. I want you to show your arms or I'm not in. <laughs> if you go to most recent vest, he's wearing this like brown leather one that I like. And I was like, maybe I'll try a vest. Maybe I'll be vest guy. Dude. 
Well, because no it, one's wearing vests. Razor Ramon wore a vest. Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin wore a vest. I mean, it, vests are basically just like a, a denim jacket without sleeves. Yeah, and those are cool as fuck, dude. Yeah, he uh, looks pretty cool. Yeah, but like imagine like a short sleeve shirt, so like the yeah, red dude. short sleeve. Yeah, that looks cool, but you couldn't be a comedian and do that. Why not? I uh, just wear it around town. I think. Yeah, but why can't you wear it like day to day? You're on stage with four hundred or a thousand. I don't know what yeah. venues you're playing these days, bro. Um, a thousand people watching you. Why can't you? I'm dress gonna like make that, dude? so much fun of you if you. Do you that. can. I mean, you make fun of me no matter what I wear. I think <laughs> that's not true. Now look you up know? Ferris Bueller on the parade. Do Ferris Bueller parade scene. Leopard vest. Dude, this uh, vest. They're cool, dude. Oh yeah, see that looks good. I think it's kind of that a sweatery cool, vest. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, please, that looks cool. I'm into it. Please do it. I'm going to, but what do you have I, I got to get the it vest. It could change your character. Josh forever. doesn't like vests. No, Josh, I, what would it take you to wear a vest for a month? There you go. What's How much would it cost for you to wear a leopard print sweater vest for a month? Shirt under it? Shirt's fine? T-shirt under it. About 500 bucks. Vest? Every day for a month? Yeah, I'd do it for 500 To dress bucks. like a Ferris Bueller, to wear exactly that same thing. You yeah, pull that off. Like I yeah, don't even think no that problem. looked bad. That's oh, here's that bad. the vest he was wearing that I liked. I would do that for... It's like a brown leathery. It's hard to see because yeah, it's a white T-shirt. <clears throat> but oh, yeah, like, dude. it's like this kind of cowboyish vest. Like I said, I just think if you do the arms, what do you mean? Like you have to show arms. No, I'm not. Well, not my whole arms. I'd look ridiculous because I'm very skinny. That's. But if I just wore this vest over like a nice white shirt. Like, I think that people would be like, oh, this is a look. It's a choice. It's a know? choice. That's the thing. Here's the deal, though. It's a choice. Yeah. Women people, like people, that. People care more about a choice than not. Whether or not it's like, oh, that's good. I mean, look, I, I'm wearing white overalls, and look what I'm wearing. Yeah. I get it. It's Old silly. It's goofy. Whatever. Here, do you know what I mean? Know? I, I get it. It's goofy. And I see some people's outfits. And I'm like, did you look in the mirror before you left? Mm -hmm. I consciously did. And I'm like, I look badass. And so did that person. Yeah. And so did you if you're wearing that. Oh. And People respect people who make choices, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You made an effort. Yeah, nobody's, that's why, like, nobody's making fun of Jet Ski Johnson for wearing her silly, you know, costume glasses, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. her look. Yeah. You expect her to wear it. Yeah. Why not? I mean, it's, you know, it's um, uh, Eugene Levy with his big glasses or yeah. whatever. You know? Elton like John wears wigs and, uh, yeah. you know, glasses. People, we're in a day and age now where I think making a choice to at least... Presenting yourself is an accepted thing, I think. So to answer your question, for the gothic thing, he for says, me... He says $70. Yeah, but that's him. For me, forty grand. I could do it for ten grand a month. Oh, sorry, ten grand a week. Ten grand a week. So I could justify it at the end of the week, like, what a humiliating week. I was on an airplane as a gothic guy. I went to the comedy club as a gothic guy. Okay. I did my meet and greet as gothic guy. But at the end of the week, I got a $10,000 check. That's probably the only way I could justify it. Okay, but that's... Because I'm, I'm very vain. We've talked about it many times. I'm, I'm, I do care about how I look. So the only way I could swallow my pride on that is at the end of the month, I would never have to be gothic again or wear makeup. And I had $40,000. Okay, but now let me ask you this. <laughs> So that's because it's a month. If it was only a week, how much? Uh, ten grand. Still for Still. just one week? Yeah, I can't do it. I mean, we got to talk. I mean, there's also a high likelihood that after two days, I go keep your money. I'm not fucking doing right, this. Right, 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 right. I mean, I, I know that I got the bailout uh, option. Do you guys on this show? Because I'll be honest, I've seen the clips and I've enjoyed the clips. Have you guys ever ventured into the stipulation of having the a cancel fee, like what you'd be willing to? Like if you do it for ten grand, yep. Okay, how much would you be willing to pay to cancel it out of your own pocket? Like mm. once I started it. Like if you started it, how much would you be willing to pay to not finish? Well, here's it? the thing: if I start it, right? Like I say, okay, ten grand a week, but I got to dress like a gothic guy this entire week and yep. really commit to it. Yeah. Now, if he finds out I did, I like went out to dinner with a girl and I'm not wearing my thing, I get zero. Even if I did those three days. Now, so let's say I did six days, and then yeah. I forgot to put on my gothic okay, you makeup before you get zero. Yeah. Okay. I don't get paid for those six. You you only get it once you complete the challenge. Got it. Yeah. I just, I wish it would be cheaper, because I would love to see you as a goth dude for a month so bad. Like, just my chemical romance on stage doing jokes would be so okay. fucking well, well, let's, funny. Let's, well, he's, he's going to streak this year. Not <laughs> naked, but he's going to run on the field for a thousand yeah, bucks. Yeah, for a thousand bucks. Okay. For the audience listening... How much would it take for you to dress gothic 
on a podcast? A uh, lot cheaper, I'll tell you that. I'd do it for uh, 100 bucks. 100 bucks for him to dress Gothic. like that. Yep. Edward Scissorhands goth. Yeah, I won't have the hair for it, but I could do You could get the, a wig. Oh, maybe if we're going to wear wigs, yeah. Any I'm podcast. I'm sure short hair dudes do goth. Yeah, there's goth. You could do a short hair goth. I wore a $3,500 shirt when I did Joe Rogan. Just wanted to brag about <laughs> yeah, that. What? Did he know? I wanted them to know. <laughs> did he? Weird <laughs> well, we're talking about getting yeah. dressed up. <laughs> yeah. Like, because I, I'm, well, here's where my brain went with that. You said that, and I was like, oh, any old podcast? Like, I, like you guys get to choose which yeah, one? No, I'm we're doing we're like your podcast. Because I was like, like Rogan. And the then second I was like, time. boy, that'd be so flustering if you guys go, all right, Rogan, you got to yeah, cash it like, in. God damn bucks. it! And then also, I thought, well, I did get dressed up for him. Like, I like picked a special shirt. This podcast, an episode, a hundred bucks. Yeah, hundred goth. Because yeah. this is go. a fun one. Hey, you're How doing it for, for a month for seventy dollars down for the road. <laughs> like I could walk home. Right. I would do goth for a month for a couple grand. A couple grand. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. I would. Pay it for a couple grand. Lock it in. <laughs> we care. forgot to lock it in. That's a catchphrase. Lock, lock it in. We got our Just, merch. If you want to buy, lock it in shirt. Lock it in. <laughs> Five grand. I would do. You said two grand. I would two grand. I would grand. dress goth for a month. That's insane. The only thing that would be real tricky is work. I can't work. even get this guy to do a cold plunge. Work would be real for tricky. You've never done a cold plunge? I won't do it. Why not? He went stupid. with us and still didn't do it. Dude, they're the best. Dude, they're it's, awesome. It's stupid. But, but you're going to dress in makeup? Hey, you idiots know the water goes hot, right? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, it is unpleasant, but it's... Uh, it wakes you up. It makes you feel alive. Yeah, two grand. The only thing I'd have to figure out is work. That would be pretty odd. But I'd have to, f I'd somehow figure it out. You can't. You go back now. It's locked in. So. Well, and also just they say, say you're trans. Yeah, you go. You can't get mad. You. Oh, you can still dress up prejudice. and wear goth, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Like if I had to wear like. Remember a, that guy? Remember how hot that like guy a suit? I could yeah. do it. Yeah, I could do it. Then. The guy had a tie on. He was business formal. Yeah, you could be formal. You could be business goth. The problem is two grand would be the payment, and five hundred would be the wardrobe. I, would I mean, I'll be honest. Buy. Anytime you I said seventy dollars, I don't know why we're just skipping over that. <laughs> anytime I wear a suit, I wear an all black suit. Anyways, my suit are all black with black shirt black tie like yeah, I but that's not goth yeah but if you're talking i mean if you put on eyeliner it's goth i guess yeah you look like adam lambert you right. mean like it's two grand two grand i would do it he said 70 dollars why are we shocked. skipping that wait no we, we we locked it in i'm saying lock it in he said 70 dollars. i'm excited month. about it but right. also it isn't as exciting for me because razzle is very adventurous with this kind of yeah, thing. yeah. how much to Compared uh to us. dress up like a cowboy for a month Oh, I'd do that for a lot cheaper. Well, yeah, no, I know. Yeah, uh, a cowboy, I'd do a thousand bucks for the whole month. The whole month, cowboy. Yeah. I've been wearing boots, a belt buckle, collared shirts, and when I'm in LA, a cowboy hat pretty often. Thousand but, bucks. I mean, I've been wearing boots, a buckle, and collared shirts every night. I mean, you're going to coffee in the morning, you got to dress yeah. like a cowboy. I know this is well. You just said you did cowboy Here's for a the, month. This is this this whole. I'll be honest. This conversation blows my mind because I love Halloween, and mm -hmm. as an adult, you can partake in Halloween every day, and it's just like cowboy boots rip, dude. They make you taller. I have yep. a cowboy hat in my car. I know. Like chicks well, the love cowboy, cowboy hat. The only like, reason I've been wearing the cowboy hat on the road is because it's an annoying hat to travel with. It's annoying as you can't like lean back dude, to like the, sleep, and then if you try to put it in the over, thing, it might get banged up. But even then also, driving, you have to take it off. Yeah, so that's the only reason I haven't been on the road, but like I would be fine with it. Also, lock it in. I thousand still, dollars. I could still rock my vest, dressing like a cowboy for a month. Yeah, but a cowboy is jean jean shirts and a shirt, and he looked good. We're talking. Jeans you got to wear boots. You got to wear a belt buckle. Sure. You got to wear a cowboy hat. Fine. You got to wear the long leather. Uh... Oh, now we're leather what chaps? Like <laughs> I was wondering what he was going to add. <laughs> no, spurs. <laughs> you got to wear spurs. I'm a TSA. They're like you can't. Have you have to have a horse. Yeah, spurs. The horse. No, no, like an actual cowboy for a thousand yeah. bucks. And then what would you do that? You just make it I mean, for free. Yeah, it's Zanity. awesome. Like, what's yeah, the, it's pretty cool. How much are give you? Here's the question. Give me here's the question. I'll pay you 100 bucks is to what's work. the most you'd pay? I'll pay you $100 to wear cowboy stuff for a month. <laughs> what's the most you'd pay me? What's the most you'd pay me? Because that's... <laughs> yeah. I just said it. 1000 bucks. bucks for a month? $100, $100 for a month. Yeah. Again, it's not... There's... It, that's nothing to me. Like, dressing up and wearing a costume is fun. Yeah. It's a conversation start, especially a cowboy. Cowboys are fucking awesome. So starting tomorrow, you're going to wear a cowboy every day outfit every day for a month for $100. I did that in June. So we're done. We got yeah. it. Locked All in. Right, enough in June. costume questions yeah, just yeah. because he's, our, he's too wait, good. Wait, I'm sorry if this is a bad episode, but I love no, Halloween. Halloween's my favorite episode. But I just my don't think like, we got other ones that aren't as... 
Razzle likes to, you know, dress up and stuff like that. We do have a shirt on this podcast. Oh, yes. That yes. Thank you, we, Producer George. We uh, challenge our guests to wearing. It is right there. So, How much to wear this shirt? What is it, 24 hours? For one day, one day of our choosing. So we can just call you up whenever, like, hey, today's the day. Okay. And this is the shirt. It's made by Yeezy. Okay. <laughs> It's Anne Frank. Says oh, is that who that she's is? a liar. <laughs> we could, we're accusing her of lying on this yeah. shirt. Lying because she about her being deaf and blind, or was that someone else? That's <laughs> Helen Keller. That's, That's Helen, Helen Keller. Anne Frank was just the Anne one who Frank said she had a was, diary. She was hiding from Nazi Germany. That's right. Up in an uh, attic. Which here's the thing. No one's confirmed that diary. You know what I'm saying? We don't really know. Um, also, just a silly thing to accuse her of because it's <laughs> what, right. what? What's she lying about? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how much to wear that for a day? Yeah. In this town? Ooh, that's I mean, question. you could be wherever, wherever you're at. Wherever, wherever you're I'm at. You might have a show that day. So I have to take The only a- rule is you can't like be at, just sit in your house and wear it you and go, go, I did it. You're like, well, just do whatever you would normally yeah. do that day. You have a dentist that day, you go to the dentist. Right. Okay. Got a show um, at night. Yeah. Uh, you know, for that, let's get saucy here. Ten thousand ah, dollars. I was so. I glad thought you were gonna go. Low. I was like literally going. <laughs> lock it in. <laughs> there he is. Lock, 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 lock it in. But costume guy. Ten not, grand. Costume guy doesn't wear wear costumes all the time. We no, we, we yeah, broke him. We broke him. Yeah, that's a good Here's thing. That I shirt live, is slowly in... getting edgier too. You know, I used to be like, well, what's the problem? But then I was like, so just now I'm thinking like, oh, oh yeah. it's some. You could definitely make it seem like we're denying the Holocaust, right? Which well, we aren't. Which, what? Yeah. Well, I want to be what very clear. We aren't. What is the Holocaust? Yeah. Uh, no. no, we're definitely not denying We them. are not denying that the Holocaust happened. All right, let's switch gears. How much oh. did you get slapped by one of those slap boxers? Oh, fuck. Zero, zero dollars. <laughs> oh, not for free? Happening. Not happening. <laughs> zero, zero dollars? dollars. I'm not a million dollars. <laughs> okay. No, no, what if it was pass. a girl slapper? Pass, dude. I like my hearing too much, and that would you'll go deaf and lose your balance. And, oh yeah, dude, hundred thousand cash. You're not doing it. I would. Here's here's <laughs> hundred grand. No, I would five hundred grand. Five, I'll do it for five hundred grand. Five hundred. You do it for hundred grand. I bet you'd do it for fifty grand if we were standing there and I had cash. No money. No, really, not for that. Just an odd. Just a suitcase. Here's the deal. I don't unless she slapped this side of my face because I already got spots on this side that right. I don't like. So then, if something happened, I could fix it. Yeah. But um, well, we could we could you could pick what side she slaps. Now I bet if we went to one of these competitions, right? We're all sitting there and then we're kind of experiencing it all together. I bet you could get me down to ten grand. Once, no way, one, dude. Yeah, once we're Not there. Not after you watch someone in person yeah, but get we're it there done. and we're going. It's all happened. Like that guy just got ten of them and he didn't get anything today. You know, like you kind of would like be like, all right, it's going to be a terrible. Yeah, I don't know if I feel your same. Uh, you don't think so? I don't think if I watch it, I'm going to want to do it. I think once you get there, like 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 stand-up comedy seemed really terrifying. Then I went to the first open mic I ever went to, and I was like, this fucking shit? I could do this. Yeah, yeah but... that's different. Though. That's not like pain. Yeah. That's well, not... like the reality not of even, it. Not even the pain, it's the brain concussion. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm concerned about is the brain damage that can happen with those types of things mm. it's such a dangerous thing for a brain yeah do you know what I mean i think yeah. it's supposed to hit you in the cheek though yeah but it's still i mean it's however they do that you're still Ooh. you're still clock your brain you just slap yourself yeah your brain is still hitting the other side of your I'm head barely hitting it and, I'm going, and you oh. made it and you had a reaction and i also have to talk for a living i'll say i'll say 500 grand all right I mean, I know it's lower, but that's all right. We're not going to get there. To try. We won't be able to get to that. Yeah. Uh, how much to go be homeless for a week on, like, Skid Row? Ugh. Crack is optional. No. No. That, that, <laughs> you don't that would... need to do the crack. Wait, how um, long? A week. Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, that, here's the deal. <laughs> a week. Oh, gosh. I, I can't know, even man. camp for a week. I know, dude. I got I to gotta say. You got community, dude. You'll be uh, fine. A couple hundred grand. Because here's the thing. I'm not a fan of the homeless people. Right. I'm not a fan of. We're I'm not we a fan of them. I'm not a fan of them. I'm not a fan of the smell. I'm not a fan of. I love camping, but I love nature. I love camping yeah. in nature. I love making. Nobody f- likes with, camping because they're just out, <laughs> not at home. I don't want to camp in an alley <laughs> yeah. with syringes and vagrants yeah. and roaming danger. around well, and pick, danger. Pick a better spot, like you. Know. <laughs> yeah. No, I there's no good spot. This I is, did, you did yeah. say Skid Row. If you said be homeless for a week in in Big Bear. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't and have Josh any homeless. Be, be, be homeless for a week in Joshua scary Tree. Too. I mean, even like, let's say you found a safe spot to be like a homeless guy. Like, just out there, like, alone is like just one night you go, what am I doing? I mean, yeah. but, and also, yes, like I have roommates now. I could have, I could live on my own if I wanted to, but I liked living in a house with like a yard and things yeah. like that. And in order to do that, I need roommates, but also... I'm I'm a, like I have I have anxious attachment. I'm a middle yeah. child. I don't love being alone. Yeah, like I live like, with all comics, and they'll go on the road, and there'll be times, you know, where I'll have like four days by myself, and that's great. But seven days, seven days by yourself, yeah. by living like myself in the wilderness or something, that's a long time. You're, yeah, you, that's a, some truck drives by late at night. You're like, at least I'm safe. There's no one out here. And then the truck drives by. You're like, what if this guy just decides to murder me? It's yeah. Like you just see some guy on the side of the road. It's like, here's my chance to yeah. murder someone. Like, I don't know. It's just, uh, what do you think the longest you could go with being alone is? Like, if they, you just had to be in a room by yourself, uh, what would be the longest you could make it? With no contact to the world. No contact. No contact. Solo isolation. No in a, phone. In a, in a room or in a house. With amenities, because even with amenities, I would say you're at a hotel room, and you just got to be by yourself. No phone. Uh, no phone. I what's could the, do. What's the longest days you think you could make? Forty minutes. <laughs> but you get hundred bucks an hour. <laughs> can I sleep? Yeah. Okay, then. Well, what's maybe the longest you can make? Twenty four hours if I can sleep. And there's nothing to do, like a, a write, write or a guitar or yeah, something. Yeah, we could put a... a mute, Activities, a, coloring yeah. book or painting or whatever. Just shit you have to do by yourself. Sure. Um, I could probably do... Well, you're saying yes, they could have that? Like you could have a guitar or you like can. a pen and paper. Yeah, you pen can. Pen and paper or paintings. some things. No movies, no TV. No. Things you have to do by yourself. Yeah. Um, I could probably do three days. Two to Two to three days. Because a second ago, I'm thinking, I didn't know there was guitars and notepads and things like that because I was like, well, I just jerk off a bunch and then sleep and then, you know, but whatever. But now that I know I can jerk off, play guitar, write stuff a little longer. What are you going to jerk off to, though? In my mind, memory. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Right. You, who, you don't? Do you use, you don't use your brain? Not, no, not to jerk off. Really? Well, if you have to. You ever been in Texas where you can't watch porn or nope. Canada? Nope. Or or China? How much? How long do you think you could last? I think I could do a week. A week, dude. That's. But awesome. I, I don't mind being by myself. And he's uh, also good at just chilling. Yeah, he's able to just. Sit I just there and my chill. brain would. He looks like I'm he's not good gonna at lie chilling. though. Uh, what do you say? Something he said fat you joke? look like you're good at chilling. Oh, okay. Um, I think I think a couple days into it, I'd be like, "Ooh, this sucks." But I think a week, and then knowing that I can be done in a week would make it a lot easier for me. Yeah. But I like that thing, like you get money per, like however long you're in there. I think per then hour. I could really wait it out. Yeah. If I, was, I had like, and if I had like art supplies or like th things I can do, because I paint, you know, I, I can do that stuff. That would definitely help. I, what, yesterday I had to wait for, I was mopping the floors. And so I like, well, I can't walk in there because it's all wet. So I got to wait for this to dry. And I sat down with my phone in a chair. And you wouldn't believe how proud of myself I was that I was able to sit in that chair with my phone for over like 30 minutes. I was like, look at me. <laughs> able to sit. I didn't move anything. I didn't tinker around with any of the shit in my house. I'm very yeah. like always OCD about all that stuff. Uh, so like I would be terrible at the one you're suggesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think the longest you could do is 12 hours, 24 hours? I could probably do a day. I had to quarantine for over like a week in Turks and Caicos. Yeah, and you were in the and it was beautiful beach. Paradise. Yeah. I had one, my own for one beach. episode. I, had, I know. Well, I had my own beach. I had my own like thing. I had Wi-Fi. I had access. I had a fucking cell phone. And I still went crazy. Yeah. I, I was going crazy. Yeah. Where, I, I mean, it's... I need I need yeah. community. I yeah. need friend, I need to be we able need, to... We need others. Yeah. So 24 hours, three days. I think I could do a week. How much are you, George? What do you think? We're doing the money thing? Yeah, yeah just, you get money for it. We'll just say you can get 100 bucks an hour to do it. I think I could probably be around a week as well really really That's will power it by yourself no human contact no human contact i mean dude 100 bucks an hour you're making 2400 bucks a day to 10 grand in a week it's you know that's yeah worth but it. but you're by yourself with your thoughts yeah but 10 grand a week pay me i could do it that way what's the room look like a hotel room so you got a bed got a bed got a chair got a chair no tv no video games 
You yeah. can write. You can do you push could, ups. Anything art. You could do push ups. You could work out. You got a shower. What is there a window to the outside? Uh, can I see daylight? Yeah, there's a window, but we got to make sure people don't walk by the window. Well, here's what I would say: is if you gave them no window and no clock, that'd be a more interesting part of the, the yeah, study. Yeah, it would. It'd be curious to see how long they'd be last. like. All right, I can't do it no more. And you're like, you were only in there for two and a half days. Right. Yeah, it would be interesting. Yeah, because they they're thinking I'm getting a hundred bucks an hour. I must be at ten grand by now. And you're like, no, you're not mm -hmm. even close to ten grand. How about to the viewers? How long do you guys think you should you could last? I want to see you right. Write in the comments how long you could last. I'm curious. There's mm. a documentary on Hulu, I think, based on similar. It's a Japanese show. I believe it's a Japanese show. A while back, I can't remember the name of it. George, you might be able to look this up, but it's this guy, this documentary about a Japanese reality show where this guy was put in a windowless room, naked with nothing, and he could only he the only thing that was in the room were now a bunch of it. magazines, and the only way he could eat or survive was by winning sweepstakes from things from mail and things from magazines and it's such a fascinating That's reality show because they he had no idea what day after x amount of time he couldn't he didn't know what what day it was or when it was and they just kept stringing him along and um naked for a year and had no idea a yeah, year. And, and he didn't know people were watching him do this. It's a yeah, fascinating, it's, unethical. It's it's very fascinating, um, but it's kind of similar where it's like he was locked in. He we're didn't know like, what day it was. He was in a room and he we said, you know twenty four hours, three days a week. I did a year. Too. I know. It's a Hulu documentary called The Contestant. The Contestant. For all those interested. And I mean, he would interact like there were. I think people would kind of give him the stuff when he'd win, so he could at least kind of see that. But it was they didn't feed him. He, only with stuff he won. I know, but like, what? What about the first one when he first got in there? I don't think he he might have had like a little bit until he started. Yeah, that's going. crazy. We'll have to watch the doc. Yeah, I want to see that. What? Um, I'm trying to think of a good <laughs> Look one. Look at him. Okay, here's one. Here's one for you boys. All right. How much would it cost for you guys never to be able to watch or go to a sporting event? Forever? Oh, how much? Just a fucking billion. How, how much yeah. for a year? How much for a year? A one year. One year for one year. You can never watch a sporting event of any kind, right, including WWE. Watch. Yeah, define watch. Going to it, okay. seeing it on your phone. What about just it's, so it's hard to escape? You, you have to you have to mute There's everything. Bars and shit. If I'm at a bar on, and it comes on, what, you what? have to leave. <laughs> okay. You can't watch it. You have to leave. You can't. I mean, I know I'd be I would lower than you think for the year, and I'd be higher. I'd be as high as anyone else. It was yeah, forever. I think we're the same. Yeah, for but for a year, like a calendar year, a calendar year, three hundred sixty-five yeah. Roman Catholic, three hundred sixty-five. Yeah, I could do that for about. Um, God, I wouldn't enjoy it. I think everything, I, every social it, app is muted. Me, you yeah. have to mute everything. I think you if can't. you paid me two million dollars, I could do it for a year. For a year. Uh, I'd, I'd be lower than that, much lower than that. I could do it for like fifty grand, maybe, 50, maybe even lower actually. Fifty grand to not pay attention yeah. to baseball or football. Yeah, or I mean, I wouldn't sport. be happy about it, <laughs> but I would just be like, I guess this. I'm you gonna, wouldn't do it for fifty grand. Yeah, I would. Give me fifty grand. Watch. I mean, I don't know how we could get fifty grand for that. <laughs> so I'm saying that's my price. Because the thing, I'm pretty. I don't know how to explain this, and I don't even know if it'll be interesting if I can articulate it. But, like, I like the idea of things sometimes more than the things. So before I had to watch wrestling every week to do this Freddie Prince Jr. podcast, I would talk about wrestling, I'd wear the wrestling shirt, and I hadn't watched a minute of it for, like, years. So right. it's like, or not years, but, like, for a really long time. And then I would kind of pop in here and there. It was more of the idea of the thing right. yeah. than the thing itself. Or, like, baseball. I'd, like, not watch a whole season of baseball, but I'm collecting the cards. Mm. And I'm. it's, like, the culture of it more than the thing sometimes. The okay. fan, the the Yeah, the fandom, the community, right. the conversations. So to not watch it, like I said, would suck, but it would be easier than I think for most than for most sports fans. All right, I'll lower mine to a million. I could do it for a million. I don't think I watched any NFL last year. I yeah, think I watched no zero more Mariners, minutes. no more wrestling. Yeah, but Mariners no wrestling would be tough because I watch a lot of Mariners and I watch a lot of wrestling. Yeah, uh, but uh, forever a billion dollars. No, I'd never do it forever. Yeah, I mean, I, ever forever is a long time. I don't yeah. like saying any. I don't. It'd be I don't, impossible yeah. to regulate or whatever. Right, right, right. Uh, how about you? I mean, would there? You don't care. A hundred grand. It'd be easy for me. <laughs> 
Well, I'll you're take more 100 than grand. Than I'll take 100 grand if you're paying. You're more than if what? Paying. To <laughs> watch, paying. To not watch forever? To not watch sports for a year. I mean, oh, I one could, year's still 100 grand? 50, 25. I mean, I don't care much about it. I, I know the sports teams, and yeah. I'll watch a good game. I like the Super Bowl. Like, I like a good game. Yeah. You know, I watch the Caitlin Clark stuff's more interesting to me because that's like a new, she's awesome, you know, like a new yeah. talent. I big fan of talent. Um, but I could, you know. If you think she's not, talented, you should see the boys league. No. <laughs> You should see LeBron. No. Yeah, yeah. He goes, big fan of talent. That's why I like Caitlin Clark. No. Yeah, ch- check out. Some of them can jump so high <laughs> yeah. that they just put it in and they hang on the rim. Hang on the rim. Yeah, now, wild. if you if to do something equivalent and made it like movies, I yeah. love movies. Yeah. How, could, how much I, should I not watch a single movie for a year? Oof. Or TV. Let's lump TV Nothing. in there. Nothing. Yeah, anything scripted. Nothing. Well, non-scripted rips too, though. Um, but just in general, let's say movies and well, movies I mean, like scripted. you'd say, like, oh, this has been easy. I've been watching all this non-scripted right. shit, and then Wolverine, Deadpool comes uh, out, and now you movie's, can't see that it. Movies for... over talked, anyways. But, but you wouldn't know that because right. you didn't get yeah, to go you see didn't it. Get to see it, and I don't get to. Yeah, um, oof, I love movies. I go see it two movies a week. Yeah. I see movies. I love That's movies. How sports are with us. I know. That's why I'm like, oh, I, I'm like, what's I'm trying. I've been trying to think of a yeah. good one to get one you guys. Year. One year to not watch a movie or, or TV, a TV show. Scripted. Old or new. Right. Nothing. Oof. One year. Old or new. We're watching old Mariner games. Well, yeah. this doesn't count. This doesn't count. <laughs> Put on the old Super it's Bowl. It's old. This happened years What's ago. What's a rerun? They're like, why would you watch this? Yeah. What's a rerun? Um, I, uh, 50 grand, 100 grand, 100 yeah. grand. Yeah. How um, much to watch all the sports? You got to watch every game. Every game. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. But it's him. There was a thing that they were doing in the MLB for a while where it was um, a guy sits and watches every minute of Major League Baseball for a whole season. Do you remember when they were doing that? Uh-uh. And you just had, like, that was your job. They'd bring you food. You know, you were kind of, like, famous on the social net, on the social medias. But, like, one dude or, like, a t- team of guys watched every minute of Major League Baseball from the start of the season to the end. Wow. Crazy. That is a lot. I'll show, we'll find it on the internet. Now, can you guys watch a baseball game? And I, this this question comes from somebody who do, <laughs> who does this regularly, watching movies, and it's something I'm actively trying to work on. Um, could you guys watch a full sports game without looking at your phone? Uh, I've I've never done that, but I could. <laughs> but I wish that I could. Yeah, yeah, and I would. I'd be happy that I did. Right, right, right. I've been doing this new thing where, like, if I start to look at my phone, I've got to pause the content that I'm watching. It's tough because I don't want to half watch anything. Yeah. So then, once I've kind of spiraled or checked my messages for the nine millionth time, then I'll put it away, hit play again, or sometimes rewind a little so I can, because I don't like half watching the thing. Yeah, yeah. We it's all tough. used to do it. But, yeah, uh, it's better. Yeah, that way. and now we watch subtitles so we can multitask easier because it's easier to read than listen. My to what sister that used to do that. Rest in peace. She she would like watch a movie, and then like she'd be in the kitchen like undoing the groceries, and I'm going, "You're not even." I'm in the oh, there yeah. watching the movie. Yeah. She goes, "I'm I can see I can do two things," and I would get so annoyed with yeah. her because she wouldn't remember any of these movies that she's going around claiming she, she watched. 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 She goes, "Oh, I liked that one." I go, "You didn't even." <laughs> you she missed goes, the you most folded important the part. the laundry, and you were like talking on the phone while the movie was on. Yeah. Or someone comes in and they start talking to you while you're watching, so you pause and they're like, oh, no, you don't have to pause. I'm like, I yeah, know. no, I do have to I pause. I do, yeah, exactly, yeah. And I think that's the beauty of a movie theater, is yeah. that in the movie theater, you're retaining 100% of the, or not retaining, but like giving all your all, all your to it. Right. Yeah. Well, it's like a comedy audience. It's the most present you can actually kind of be yeah. with the 300 people. Unless it's a Mark Hayes show or Marco show, then we, you know, then they're not present at all. They're, they're texting and they're going to do their cocaine in the bathroom. Here's one for you. Um, how much, and this was more for Josh because we already, because of the boots thing, but for both of you guys, how much would it cost? What's your price to wear high heels for a week? Uh, never. Like women's high heels? Women's high heels. Jimmy Choo, high heel shoes, yeah. four inch pumps. Of uh, five million? <laughs> yeah, for a week. We're breaking ankles. We're... Forget, Jeff, no, <laughs> Jeff is seven feet now. <laughs> just the gender part of it is what I have a problem with. Like, I would like to have to... 
explain it to people I love or strangers. I mean, yeah, but you're just like, I'm getting a lot of money to do this. I mean, yeah, whatever. but like the people are like, we didn't even ask. And now I'm in this weird conversation <laughs> of like, oh, why'd you feel like you had to explain that to us? Or like, <laughs> I just like, it would make me in a mental tailspin <laughs> at all times. Okay, you wouldn't I, be I'm good on at, an airplane. Yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't be good at last place in your fantasy football league then. Like so that's some of the punishment you have sometimes. To do stuff like that sometimes for a it's week? like you gotta dress up. Yeah. Okay, I got another one that I've had for a long time, so let me hear your answer on this. I mean, for a week high heels, I think I would do it for like ten grand. Yeah. You wouldn't make it. You for wouldn't ten make grand it. fucking cash. I what about normal it. lifts in your shoes? Just normal lifts in my shoes? Like lift three in, three inch lifts in your shoes. Yeah, if I'm just wearing these, but with lifts. Lifts inside it. Yeah, who yeah. fucking cares? Zero dollars. Yeah, uh, I would do that for a few hundred. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty inconvenient. Yeah. Well, but you're still lifted up. They just are instead of being high heels, yeah. they're a boot. I, that's why I said it's all the gender, the gender part of it about, for about me. It. That's the whole issue. Okay, here's one. Because <laughs> just don't want to have to explain this. To okay, me. and this you reminded me of one that I've had for a long time because of the explanation thing. How much? To eat a bowl of poop, okay? <laughs> but listen. I'm listening, but I don't know why. But listen, <laughs> how much do you, <laughs> to eat? Uh, this one's out there. This one's not, the audience is never going to be able to pay for this, but this one, because I'm curious. How much do you eat a bowl of poop? <laughs> but there's billboards around the United States making you the most famous person in the world for eating a bowl of poop. But I don't want to be a most famous guy <laughs> no. in the world for eating a bowl but that's of poop. The, <laughs> that's, fucking, that's the caveat. Is millions of dollars. Millions of people know. Millions this, of dollars. Millions of people know Josh Nelson. Are you going to be shit breath for the rest of your life, dude? No, thanks. I'm looking at my phone because I want to show you <laughs> a text. I'm for millions, though. I'll be shit breath for like $2 million. Okay, okay, you. okay. What if you don't actually eat the bowl of poop? But it's an AI video of you eating it, and you're still the most famous person in the world for eating a bowl of poop, even though you haven't eaten a bowl of poop. I mean, 1.5 million. I'm still going to be shit breath, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. and no one's going to believe that you didn't eat the poop. You know, you're like, no, it was AI. Like, no one's going to believe that. Here's a text that I got just this week. Uh, this is from a comic I worked with in Florida. Really big Cowboys fan. Yeah. He once got a tattoo that said Cowboys Super Bowl champions 2016 or something like that. Yeah. And then they clearly didn't win. He's one of these guys that gets it at the beginning of the season. They put him on the radio like, this guy's nuts. Look at this. Like He's one of yeah. these guys. Yeah. And he's a good guy, and I love him. But he's like, hey, man, I don't know if you saw this, uh, but I'm up to my old antics, and I'm trying to create some kind of splash or boom. I got 80,000 followers from the tattoo thing, the Cowboys tattoo thing. So anyways, blah, blah, he's asking me, can I help him? You know, all this different stuff. I said, what do you need, dude? Like, I like this guy. I fucking take a bullet for this dude. He's a good. I've known him for probably a decade now, whatever. He goes, he's also sober now, which I encourage his sobriety. I've been just like been trying to be kind of a big brother in a way. And then he goes, uh, I'm doing Howard Stern on Wednesday. They're calling me on Monday to set it up. I'm also doing Brett Ernst's podcast. So I'm asking around. I'm trying to make one last push. And guess what he's going to do? I was wondering if you could quote my tweet or have me on your podcast. I'm doing this to make a big and build a following, get to the next level. Uh, gosh, here I'm trying to find where it's at. He's going to eat shit if the Cowboys don't win the Super Bowl. So instead of a tattoo, if the Cowboys lose, he'll eat human shit. So. so it started off as him getting a tattoo if they lose. Yeah. And now it's... Exp it's He's eating, eating shit. shit. I'm going to eat human shit and play it out to get views on all this different stuff. I go, dude, I don't support this at all. I wrote, eat shit, question mark, question mark, question mark. He's like, I understand, man. I was like, yeah, I can't just encourage this. If a team loses. I don't want you to eat shit I also don't want the Cowboys to win anything. Right. right. But also, like, <laughs> if they cheering. don't, which is likely that they will not, why would my friend Jordan eat shit? Yeah. I'm like, I can't be. Yeah. What do we do? I don't want to watch someone do that. So you found his price is just the Cowboys winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Anyways. Well, eat shit and die. That's the uh, that's the motto of this one, huh? We love you, Razzle. Where can people <laughs> yeah, find you, bud? Um, you can find me on the internet at my name is Razzle, uh, at Razzle Dangerously. I got a couple Instagrams trying to play with the algorithm there. TikTok, YouTube. Have you ever told jazz. me your birth name? 
Yeah, I've been public about it. If people ask, my real name is Eric. I knew that. I was like sitting here trying to think about yep, it. I knew that. Yep. I definitely knew that. Eric. Um, Josh. You can, you can find him dressing like a cowboy for a month, yeah, too. Yeah, me too. Uh, Josh Nelson Comedy, all the fun stuff, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Don't follow me on Twitter. JeffDye.com. Find me. Uh, I'm coming to your town near you. Uh, if you guys want to give to the podcast, get watch some of these things. We can start making them happen. Uh, give to this little code right here, and then, but be very specific where you want that money to go. Which thing? Uh, we love you. Thanks for watching. Share this podcast with a friend.